Hello friends, in today's lecture we are going to learn about the stationarity in time series. So before starting the lecture, just we are going to learn what do you mean by word stationary. If we look into the stationary meaning, stationary means constant or in other words we can say that which is not moving. That means it's, it is standstill. So the word stationary means the thing or an object which does not move, which remains constant. And the time series means the data which is collected for a different time period. For example, you are going to collect the data of the stock price from last 20 years. So that means you are collecting data either on the daily basis, on the monthly basis, uh, weekly basis or the yearly basis. And the data that you are collecting that should be in the consecutive order. That means if you are collecting for the yearly basis and you are collecting the data for 22,000, then you have to collect for 2001, then 2002 and then 2003 and so on. So now in this lecture, we are going to learn about the stationarity in time series. So we are going to see what is constant in time series and why it is important. So if we talk about the stationarity, stationarity means the statistical properties of the process which do not change over time. So that means as I have already told you that the word stationary means that which is constant, which does not change, which is standstill. So, in research, whenever we are doing research in the time series, we all know that we are using some statistical tools. So, stationarity is one of the properties of the statistical tool which says that your data or whatever data you have collected that is not changing over the time. Now, let's see which type of data or what in the data is not changing over the time. Because whenever we do any research or in economics or in finance, we have to make certain assumptions. So one of the assumptions while doing the research is of stationarity. Now the question arises why the stationarity is important. So we can say that stationarity is important because many useful analytical tools and statistical tests and models rely on it. So whenever we are going to do the time series analysis, we are going to use some statistical tools or you can say we are going to do our analysis with the help of some statistical test and we are going to create some model. So if your data is stationary, then you can rely on that statistical tool or on the model. And if your data is non-stationary, then you will get the furious results. Or for example, we can say that, let's say if you are going to predict the future time series data, you are uh, collecting the stock price data and you want to predict the future stock price. Then the result will not be accurate if, you are the, if your time series is non-stationary. So if you want to get the accurate result, your data should be stationary. Stationarity in time series implies that if you are taking the consecutive sample data with the same size, then it should have the identical covariance regardless of the starting point. That means whenever you are calculating the data, you are taking the data at two different points, it should have a same covariance. Let's say you have taken the data from 2000 till 2020. So if you are seeing the data at 20, uh, 2000 or at 2005 or 2008, then it should have a constant covariance. So that's the meaning of stationarity in time series. Now stationarity is divided into two parts. We have strong stationarity also and a weak stationarity. But in time series, we are not going to talk about strong stationarity. We will be talking about weak stationarity only. Now, whenever we are doing the time series, there are certain assumptions. So the assumptions of weak stationarity is that there should be a constant mean at two different time periods or four different time periods or five different time periods. And there should be a constant variance. 
so it's not compulsory that there should be a constant variance so whenever you are working on any time series data you should be aware that there should be a constant mean so just to have the knowledge that whether there is a constant mean or not we check the stationarity if the mean is not constant that means we can say that the data is non stationary or we can say that unit root is present and if there is a constant mean then we can say, say that that the data is stationary now let's see on this diagram as i already told you in all my videos that first of all whenever you are having the data first of all try to make it a graph or you have to plot your data now if we are going to plot this data you can see that neither there is a constant mean nor there is a constant variance on x axis there is a time period and on y axis there are the price so if i am going to put a straight line over here or i can say let's say mean is this let the mean is 100 so if the mean is 100 you will not see that for every series the mean is 100 neither you can predict the variance is constant over here so that means i can say that after seeing this graph i can say that my data is non stationary mean and non stationary variance so my this series is a non stationary series now let's see this diagram over here the data is moving down then moving up down up down up and i have put this line this red color line which is in between that is showing that there is a constant mean in each and every series at different time periods on x axis we have a time period on different time period the mean is constant and these are the two control limits line we can name it as a variance that means whatever gap is there whatever a difference is there at starting point the same difference is there at the end also so that means at all the different time periods the variance this change is same this change is same so we can say there is a stationary mean and stationary variance as we have learned that the word stationary means constant so we can see that there is a constant variance the variance is constant at all different points of time so we can say constant variance and constant mean now let's see this diagram now in this diagram you will see that mean is increasing this line is our mean this mean is increasing so that means we can say mean is not constant it's increasing and it's decreasing so that's why it's non stationary mean but if you will see the difference between these two that is a variance change whatever change is there at the starting point the same change is there at all the different points so that means there is a constant variance and as we have already learned that the word stationary means constant so we can say that in this data it's a non stationary mean but stationary variance now see this diagram in this diagram you will see that the this mean line is same whatever mean is there at zero point time period the same mean is there at this time period also so there is a constant mean but variance the change the change in the starting time period is more and the change in the this time period is less so that means you can see that that the change the variance is not constant it's changing it's say at the starting time period is more and as the time period increases it start decreasing so variance is not constant but the mean is constant so we can say that in this diagram it's a stationary mean and a non stationary variance so whenever we are going to do the analysis on the time series we have to see whether our data is stationary or non stationary then only we can do the analysis in the time series data in the next video we are going to learn how to test the stationarity in the time series data so we comes to an end thank you